Right, hello there, welcome to Dev Vlog 2. And before we start, I just want to say a huge thank you because Dev Vlog 1, which was also my very first video on this channel, currently has 73 views. That may not sound like much, but that is way more than I ever expected. I also got a lot of great feedback with also a lot of compliments about the devlog itself and the game. So I'm really excited to make this second devlog. Let's get into it. Right, so last time we just made the basics. We made the desktop and we made it look decent I guess and today I want to explain the gameplay ideas I have and I want to design some characters first the gameplay do you know Pokemon of course you do so I'm just going to take that and that is basically the entire game but for those of you that still don't understand I'll explain it in a bit more detail and I'm going to do that by drawing i'm not very good at it but at least it will be clear right so to start you have these little icons on the bottom of your desktop each one of these represents a creature just like a pokeball represents a pokemon this is my very bad attempt at trying to make pikachu but anyway this is the simple part it becomes more complicated in combat you of course have your creature on one side and the enemy on the other side in case of this game i am thinking of some kind of virus or a bug or an error message or just something like that then you can fight them by performing actions or at least letting your characters perform those actions like attack or defense or whatever this is also very much pokemon inspired and then one last thing i'm also going to steal is that each of your creatures will have a type like fire or earth or air or something like that and that is basically the entire game no wait i forgot one thing you also have different worlds and each of these worlds is actually a website and where you go to one of these worlds the background of your desktop will change the types of enemies will also change and it will change what of your creatures are strongest um i just realized i've been saying creatures the entire time um they're actually called applications but anyway let's just continue and that is the entire game but i think it could be a lot of fun right so what we're going to do now is convert our little icons we made last devlog into actual creatures i have no idea how we're going to do that yet but we'll figure it out all right so i started with the easy ones those being firefox and thunderbird because they already have an animal slash creature in their name so we can just make that so for the firefox creature slash character i made a fox just a very normal fox, not a firefox yet, but I can always add that later. Then for the Thunderbird character slash creature, I just made a very simple blue bird. It really isn't anything special, I don't even like it that much, but it's good enough for now. You gotta remember that these are not the final designs, these are just some placeholders. Right, so then I moved on to Chrome. And my idea with that one was basically I want some kind of robot. And because those four different parts of the Chrome logo almost look like they could just separate, I made that. A flying Chrome robot with separated body parts. Then the Discord one. This was very tricky and the end result was just a giant floating Discord logo. But it's fine for now. Like I said, these are just placeholders. And then OBS. This was easier than the Discord one. But like the Discord one, this is also just the logo. But you gotta imagine that the like almost blades in the center can move around and they can even form an attack. So maybe the OBS character slash creature is an air type. And last, Minecraft. So for Minecraft, I have absolutely no idea what the creatures should B. There are a lot of mobs in Minecraft which could act like those creatures. And I've even thought about the Minecraft application switching forms. Like one time it's a pig and another it's a creeper. But for now I think a giant Minecraft block will do just fine. Right so with those finished let's put them in the game. And while putting them in the game I wanted 
three things. The first thing is that I wanted the creature to appear when you click the icon that represents that creature. And second, I wanted the creature to disappear when you click the icon again. And last, when you click another icon, I wanted that creature to show up and the other one to disappear. And so I did exactly that. It now works perfectly. Although I do gotta say the code is an absolute mess. This is because I used the exact same code for every single icon. This was a very bad idea, but I did it anyway. So with that now completely finished, let's start working on some character stats. Today I want to make three. Health, armor and level and i want to display those three around the characters so i've got to make sure the right stats show up for the right character all right so i started with the health bar but um it it, it didn't really work the code was an absolute disaster and like i said it, it didn't work so i just selected the entire code and clicked delete because like i said it didn't work right so then i tried again and i managed to get it working this bar on the top here now shows your character's health and with the health bar made it was relatively easy to make the armor bar and the level bar and that is basically everything i wanted to do in today's devlog we've definitely made more progress than last devlog but still it's not a lot, but that is because all the next things I want to tackle for this project are absolutely huge. And this episode is already six minutes long, so I don't want it to be any longer. But the next devlog will be absolutely amazing. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it, and turn on the notification bell so you really don't miss it. Also, don't forget to like this video if you liked it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.